Hi, everyone. My name is Justin from War Farm Repeats, and uh, today is a video uh, talking about a lot of stuff, let's just say. We're in the month of May now, which means that it's been well over four months since I've last uploaded. But uh, today, I just want to talk about, you know, where I've been, what I've been doing right now, and also some plans that I have for the future, because I know if you look at my channel right now, there's a little bit of something that you might have noticed something a little different. But uh, I guess I should just point this out. Uh, I am doing okay. Uh, even though I haven't uploaded in quite a long time, I think this is probably the longest break that I've ever um, taken. But no, I'm doing good. I'm doing perfectly fine. But I will talk about why I've been gone for quite a while. I mean, first main reason, I'm, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious, um, school, but Another main reason is actually because I don't care about Brawl Stars anymore. I'm gonna be completely honest. It's just that I've really lost interest in playing the game since the start of the year, actually. Since the start of early 2021, when I stopped uploading, that's also around the time I stopped really caring about Brawl Stars. And it, it's not really for a particular reason either. I just don't care anymore, <laughs> I guess. I, I just, I don't know. I just really stopped playing and I played the game since 2017, since near the start actually in uh, beta when the game was still uh, vertical. And also I kind of found myself complaining about the Brawl Stars community quite a bit. It's just not really for me. Um, there's no YouTubers uh, that could inspire me, that stuck out to me, that I found really interesting, that I look up to. And the ones that did, they kind of just faded away. I'm just not a fan. That's all I'm gonna say. And I might lose subscribers because of that because um, a lot of people subscribe to my channel, probably for Brawl Stars, but if you didn't and you're just here for me, then I applaud you for that. And also, I guess I should probably say this now. Um, this is a mic. Th this is a mic. I, I don't know uh, if you think that's weird or not, but hey, look, I, I have 300 subscribers. Do you really think I would be able to make such an investment? Like, hey, you know, it, it's kind of cool. I kind of like doing this. It's, it's nice and it sounds a bit better as well. I don't know why I, need to, I needed to say that. But anyways, with all that stuff being said, um, I'm not quitting YouTube at all. I, I actually have a lot of plans for the future and I am going to be talking about that right now along with some things that I'm currently doing. Um, so really, all that stuff that I did in the past, let's just say they were test runs. They, they don't matter anymore. They were just there for the sake of being there. Will I keep those videos around? Probably will. I don't see a reason why I should delete them. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, specifically on Discord, and I'm gonna explain it right now, but it's not related to Brawl Stars. It's actually related to a different game, and it's the game that I've been making the past two videos on. It's Boom Beach Frontlines. I don't know when it's coming out, but it will be coming out eventually. That is, I guess, kind of like a spin-off game for Boom Beach, but it's, it's totally different. They're not even similar games. But um, I've played it already since December uh, during those playtest dates, times, whatever you want to call it. And I love it. I actually really love the game. I won't explain a lot about it because that's not even what this video is about. But um, it's basically like this MOBA-esque game, but it's, it's nine versus nine. And it, it's been a lot of fun. I actually have been liking it a lot. I'm not going to explain it too much, like I said. But um, I don't know. I, I just really liked playing it. <laughs> The game's got huge potential. There's a lot of stuff that is within the game, a lot of the features I just find really interesting. And I guess the game that you can compare it to the most is Brawl Stars, but not really. There's just a lot of different things. If you want to look up the gameplay for yourself, go ahead and do that. It's it's an interesting game. It's an interesting game. And I think that if the, if the developers take into the right direction, it is going to be crazy good. But the reason why I care so much about this game uh, to the point where I'm just shifting away from Brawl Stars, not only because I'm just bored of the game, but there's this thing that I made, and it's called YCBTS. And you're probably like, what is that? And that's perfectly fine. It's not that big right now. Well, it, it kind of is, but it's kind of not. I'll, I'll explain it. Basically, YCBTS is this little casual competitive group thing that we made for Boom Beach Frontlines. And originally it was just a joke. Um, I'm not going to say what it means, um, but it's just there. <laughs> it's just there. It's kind of fun to just keep the meaning unknown and let people guess what it is. But uh, yeah, it's this little group that I made 
along with some friends, and it actually became a lot bigger than we were initially expecting it after time went on during the playtest. We started it all the way back in December, December 4th, specifically when the very first Boom Beach Frontlines Alpha playtest happened, and into the next week when the next playtest happened, we actually started getting a lot of attraction. And then the next playtest that happened in late January, things just blew up crazy. I've been playing the game quite a lot. Um, and I've even <laughs> went as far as to like look into certain things that really no one else has looked at except for us. And honestly, I could probably say that we're ahead of everyone in terms of in-game knowledge. I'm, I'm gonna be serious. And if you don't believe it, I mean, go into the Discord server and just look at the leaderboards that they've shown for this game's alpha playtest back in January. We were on every single leaderboard. Like there was not a single leaderboard that we weren't on. And even one of them, the uh, most eliminations, I was on that as well. I played a lot. So basically what I'm trying to say is we made a big head start in this community and I met a lot of great people from it. And I think we really only have a great future ahead of us. And the next play test, it's going to be at the end of, or near the end of this month of May. So I'm probably gonna make a video on it. You're probably wondering like, why didn't I make a video in January or a few videos in January when there was a play test at that time? I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. I guess I, I was too focused on the game and focused on building our little group thing. And uh, it was absolutely worth it. I do have a lot of ideas when the next place has comes. I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna do, but I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, this is just the start for my channel, I guess. I think when this game actually comes out, maybe I'll, I'll really start trying. Who, who knows, we'll see. Yeah, I've been on YouTube since July of 2018. Yeah, 2018. And I was only 13 when I started this channel. Now I'm 16, I've learned quite a bit. But yeah, with that being said, those are the stuff that I've been focusing on recently. I've been really enjoying um, YCBTS and all these people that I've met. It's been a lot of fun and we expect a lot of good things to happen in the future. But uh, speaking of the future, I gotta talk about some things that have changed because as you can see, this channel the, I guess, the aesthetic, the profile picture, the name, the banner, they've all changed. I felt like it only made sense because War Farmer P is kind of too much of a professional name and doesn't really fit the content that I produce, which mostly feels personal, feels more authentically me. So it only makes sense to change the channel name to my name. But with that said, I'm not dropping the WFR because it's just nostalgic. It brings back a lot of memories and I don't know. I just don't want to leave it behind, but yeah. If you can already tell, in the future, no more Brawl Stars videos, unless I somehow get back into it, but there's like a 99.99999% chance that I'm not coming back. So with that, I'm going to probably be making Boom Beach Frontlines videos if the game truly makes it, because I'm really excited to play. I'm, if you can't tell as well, I'm, I'm excited to play the game. And if the game doesn't make it, then the last thing I could probably think of are the three new Clash games that were announced a while ago, and yes, I did play Clash Quest quite a bit, and I am still playing it, but if I'm being honest, the game is kind of mediocre. It's, I mean, it, it's supposed to be a small game, but I don't know. It, it doesn't have much longevity in my eyes. And if I decide to make a Clash Mini or Clash Heroes video, I'm probably not gonna go all out on that either because they're also designed to be smaller games, but only time will tell. We'll see how good the games are. But yeah, to sum this video up, I'm doing well. I don't care about Rosters anymore. I'm probably going to be playing Boom Beach Frontlines in the future. Uh, and I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes to make sure that, or to get the highest chance, I guess, to making it big uh, with this channel. But if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate, I, I really appreciate you guys for watching this. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna upload another video until the end of the month when the play test comes around. So uh, hopefully I will see you guys then. And yeah, with that being said, Take care, I will see you guys later, bye.